told Abraham once, <clears throat> and I'm going to keep it very, very simple for people, and your descendants will be as numerous as the stars. Made my covenant with Abraham. <clears throat> I always keep my covenants. And Peter can testify. So Peter gets to that part of heaven. <clears throat> And Peter told me, you threw me back to earth like a baseball. <clears throat> and then when he wakes up, he is staring at me. I always wanted to explain this to him, but he wasn't. Um, quite as. Uh, ready for his kingship as he needed to be. So my conversation would have been, boy, you are in the city of lost angels. And there are people here that do not have the same heart you have. And you were running around with them. So now that I have your attention, let's get back on our mission here. <clears throat> It's important for you guys to realize what that statement meant. Your descendants will be as numerous as the stars. And we stay within our, um, if you cannot understand these earthly things, how can I teach you the heavenly things, right? I have scripture to back up everything that I'm saying. You have not always been the <clears throat> skin color you may be now. Customs, traditions, things that you gravitate towards. You have. We have lost our Hebrew culture and we are going to restore it. But you first need to understand your concept of racism is not applicable in heaven, nor is it looked upon as <clears throat> good or evil. It is about you. Now, Peter's contribution to my kingdom and his life is copiously recorded. You guys can also thank him for Martin Luther King Day and the contributions that he learned in that lifetime about remaining with me. And the Abraham Noah instincts that are instilled in him remain in him. And he simply did as I knew he would do, as he remembered to do, as instinct, as reflex, the heart that he has, that he will always have. <clears throat> and I have seen him do it down here. And I've helped him out many times because his soldier Gabriel messenger instincts kicked in. <clears throat> so you will normally do what is in your heart to do. Understanding that. There had to be motivation and something about doing what you do because you want to do it ingrained in you. That feeling people had. My angel showed up this morning 
because I got him a rowboat and it curves upwards. And I was like, oh, he got you one of those old school Jesus and his disciples boats, huh? <clears throat> and he had to learn how to use it, but he's very happy with it. Different things make different people happy. So you cannot determine what is good or evil based on what makes someone happy. The cultivated spirit that we all are at this very moment has shined through in everybody's life right now. <clears throat> the lack of knowledge as far as spiritual warfare Some listened to me very quickly, like my angels. You guys pick things up extremely quickly. I love to teach you. I was not going to show up and say, what have you guys been doing? I was waiting on you and <clears throat> you never showed up. So I came down here. We will have things to discuss. This will be your, um, when I say king and queen responsibilities, but the exact opposite of what we have experienced down here. What I'm doing now and have done and will continue to do is make that happen for you down here. So you have this invisible, <clears throat> staircase that you climb every morning and I meet you there and we talk and then you take your staircase and sometimes you sit on a step with just me and we talk but you have your life <clears throat> others there is no staircase It doesn't become um, plausible that there would be, and it doesn't become able to be felt that there is, but it is for you. And in this way, <clears throat> you are um, finishing up a job well done. So I don't want everybody to be afraid. I don't want everybody to fear um, that what I've trained you to do was for nothing. I want you to finish out <clears throat> with confidence, mostly confidence, that when that appointed day comes and you go to sleep, and it will not be any time soon for most of you, you are going to have a very, very, very warm welcome in heaven. <clears throat> know that. The fact that you're communicating with me and I'm communicating with you, you are known. Now, for those that received my spirit and were not born with it, you have the same opportunity. To not experience judgment. In heaven, it is not. I missed my court date, so I'm not going to show up. <clears throat> I 
your court dates happen here on earth. But it's based upon what you've done to others. Scripture, do unto others what you would have done unto you, for it will be. God is not mocked. You will reap what you have sown. Choices, not a tyrannical government. So when we talk about the dragon and in heaven, the dragon represents a demonic system. And from that system, these uh, <clears throat> spirits have been able to thrive. Light is light, dark is dark. So when I talk about the third that fell, <clears throat> we have to remove time as far as that scripture because you cannot look at that scripture and then apply it to um, heaven. A war broke out in heaven. This war was not about <clears throat> uh, machine guns and steel swords or anything like that. It was a war to keep them from falling. My particular role against principalities and um, the bigger uh, contributions to what I had uh, already knew someday I was going to have to write through a prophet to a man that would be in scripture. Son of the morning star. I am the morning star. So when I first <clears throat> saw things to make it easy to understand, but I could not communicate with them but they were bright and they were light. And then me, the morning star. <clears throat> I take a very, very, very long time to judge. And I have a different mindset for whatever I'm doing while I'm doing it. My wife asked me once, your angels don't seem to like me. <clears throat> My angels are ordered to protect you. With me as captain a lot of times. Now they may exercise the same tone based on the emotion that we are feeling in heaven and they may not assist you with um, something that may harm you because you have a tendency to not listen but that is not something that we did not foresee so I show up <clears throat> what is this? I thought you had this all under control. Isn't that why you wanted to come down here? That was your request. So she could say that my angels were probably annoyed because <laughs> we had to leave heaven over her. She could say that. But what you also have to understand is it was going to happen anyway. We were going to have this Armageddon. That's why when the church speaks, 
you are designated not under new management or anything like that. This is what you will do. You will provide food, clothing, and by law, I'm required to provide that to all people <clears throat> because I am good. And that is why it is in our law. When you have your spouse, <clears throat> you are less likely to covet another's because you are in love with your spouse. In heaven, you have something way deeper and meaningful than what you experience on earth. So my kingdom marriages, I am teaching you. But all I'm doing is putting you back together and letting you two figure it out. It's not like it is on earth. No one wants to take another person's spouse. No one wants to steal from another person. There's an entirely different currency. <clears throat> My angels, when it gets hard, you forget that we love doing missions. <clears throat> and that we don't just stand back a lot of times. Once we are given our orders, we derive our joy from accomplishing that mission. And then there are rewards that come with that. So that you receive those rewards on earth and they are stored up for you. And then you are endowed with different um, understandings that are placed into your spirit that your spirit retains. Now, when you look at the mind and many of you say, Lord, I've experienced thoughts and I don't know if they were mine. Okay, so we'll discuss there must be access to your mind. But there must also be a way to close that access. Meaning your mind, and I'll be very careful because whenever I talk to my kids the father's kids <clears throat> I want to make sure that the ultimate uh, next step or where I'm leading you is into, for some, uh, a deeper understanding, a deeper level, a higher spiritual remembrance of who you are. that assures you grace remains yours. Others that there is a kingdom of heaven, there is judgment. This is not a simulation, nor is it a test. Being good and just, you were created. Therefore, you are sought after. But you are not slaves. 
the kingdom of heaven, whenever you um, see an angel showing up, we show up speaking a language that can be understood and recognizable to the person we were sent to deliver that message to. Now, many I have sat down with and I have said, I like you, I think you're funny, but you are not an angel. <clears throat> The scripture says, I will be here with my angels, Jesus and his angels. So this has to be fulfilled, but understood so that you can understand our role. The reason we are here is we are shepherds. So my prophets that I speak to continually understand more and more because they were able to discern my voice, but also their uh, proximity. Come up here, let me show you this. <clears throat> They don't watch it on a TV screen. So if I'm giving somebody uh, dreams or visions, they're coming from in a way that just makes sense to the recipient. It makes sense to the recipient because the recipient remains in me again. I am in the Father. The Father is in me. You are in me. I am seeing it. My different roles. When I'm on the uh, <clears throat> mindset that is just about to drop into, okay, so this is what people are feeling. This is what people that did not remain with me or never seeked me out are experiencing right now. Okay. I am getting the understanding <clears throat> from being right here. <clears throat> the reason I'm speaking so slow, of course, so the Holy Spirit can answer your questions. And I don't limit what I can say. The human language has a lot of words that puts barriers, boundaries, and definition to consonants, verbs, in whatever language is coming out of someone's um, spirit. It always comes from your spirit. So many of you that I've tried to protect, <clears throat> the reason kingdom spouses really um, got scared of each other is the prodigal had dark words that actually hurt the spirit 
of the kingdom spouse. Darkness was found in the prodigal. So the war in heaven was uh, the prodigal being a vessel for the familiar spirit, lying spirit, all of those things that had led the prodigal into whatever situation they were in because their thoughts changed. And when you step away from the light for so long, you become your thoughts. Your thoughts change your emotions. Your emotions change your will. The things that you did not want to do and said you would never do, you found yourself doing and accepting. And then trapped. When I showed up 2,000 years ago, the words were simple. Your captivity is over. <clears throat> the first step, restore your relationship with me. And many of you have. And I welcome you with open arms. Good to see you again, Mary. <clears throat> These lessons you have learned down here are for when we return. And don't worry, it's not going to be anytime soon. <clears throat> what we already saw people desire and their ideas of what they had already done before they were even in their vessel and determined um, how well we knew them, first of all. And then, um, did they even like it in heaven? Did their spirit learn what it wasn't capable of learning without understanding the difference between heaven and separation from the heavenly person they really are when they have my spirit inside of them so that they have that access back which changes your thinking there are things that never cross my people's minds whereas those things that never cross my people's minds are all other people become fixated upon. Momentary uh, methods of getting out of a sensation they do not want to be in, but cannot see any other um, way that makes sense to them at the moment. You can try and minister to someone all you want and they can, bro, you do not know what's going on right now. This is what I need. And for many, <clears throat> because I came down here to understand that more, I have helped out with that. I have a role in my kingdom for each person. 
what you are doing right now, it may seem good to you, but you are not learning and you are taking the place of someone that I want to do what you are doing right now. And you are not doing what needs to be done by you. So <clears throat> people would ask me, all right, so your wife left with them. But that's a good thing, right? She was trying to save them. It is never a good thing to disobey God. If she was given the approval because she was prepared, we would have went with her in spirit. It's not her purpose to do the things she is doing right now. She's a little seraphim. She is to worship the Father in spirit and in truth. I said, there will be a time <clears throat> where none of these religious phylacteries or tapestries will be desired. But you will worship him in spirit and in truth. Meaning your worship should come from a place of being connected and then directed by me, the Holy Spirit, to us. And it should be honest. We'll respond to that the same way we responded when you were up here. Intimately, personally, and specifically for you. That is also known as prayer. Not one of my people can say, I have not answered their prayers. They just didn't like the answer because they did not understand what they were being taught. <clears throat> The prayer of the righteous availeth much. Of the righteous. So what <clears throat> we basically did, and by basically what I said I was going to do, the semblance of righteousness, your righteous deeds are like dirty rags. Do not depend on your righteous deeds of yesterday to save you from tomorrow. <clears throat> means nothing in the kingdom of heaven. It is about how close you are to the Father. Now, in heaven, I have to um, explain this very, very simply and with a little video. <clears throat> All of heaven is the Father. And then on earth, the Father is everywhere and accessible, but not able to be
entered on earth. <clears throat> so what this does for me, I see everything. And then I see everything. When I close the door, that means the door is closed. And when I do that, I do that season by season and based on certain um, quick uh, realms that I walk through real fast, get a feel of it. And I have been doing it for so long, I just know. And then in prayer, of course, was that what I thought it was? Do this. And then when it's time, and it's time, and it's time, then it's done. It is very um, much a learn as you go walking with me process because I will always know if you are walking with me. It would be very, very difficult to not know it because whenever I meet someone or I sit down with them in person, I'm always aware of what you are supposed to be doing. And when I tried to minister to, um, we decided to call them religious people. <clears throat> This always made them feel like the lies they had told themselves or someone else did were not standing up anymore. So it produced the opposite conversation that I had the intention of having. And then for you down here, you add in the false Holy Spirit. I hate saying that. And the lack of uh, respect and reverence that I've seen in pretty much everyone I have uh, interacted with by the feeling they don't demonstrate even uh, verbally, I didn't want to disappoint my father. <clears throat> Whereas, if you're hearing my voice, it's not about disappointing the father. It is unconditional love. It is about helping you into your next step that is going to lead to your overall recovery of sight, status and kingdom, monarchy, uh, civil placement of who you are, and restoring you so that you do not end up in it again. So it's always dependent upon, you didn't learn this time, okay. Helped you back up to your feet, you didn't learn that time, okay. Each time, as long as you are clothed have food and shelter, that is the extent of the concern about bringing you back into that proximity to me. Because I have to do the things that you do 
to be able to have the testimony to prove that I did it for you. That I was and the restoration of our relationship with you has to line up with scripture that you do not know. Because someday we have already seen you start delving into this scripture and it has to line up. <clears throat> There are things you're going to have to learn to disappoint people sometimes for your king. It is about you. We have them covered. They are accountable to us. Now. So <clears throat> the help they're receiving is no different than the help you have received. You're just on different levels. And each person has been given the same choices and the same understanding. Some grew theirs, others found it not important. But there's no jealousy in heaven because everybody has taken the same walk. And the understanding of, well, how do you get thrown out of heaven? Moses told you. There are 10 commandments. Don't do that. At this point, <clears throat> people have to be taught that it's not okay to do those things, ever. It's not necessary. During the age of grace, it was nobody is helping you, so I get it and I understand. In heaven, it will be nothing like that. And I don't want to um, allow somebody to leave heaven on earth and not have them ever enter heaven. I love you.